are you the doer or the watcher or are you both or are you neither to understand action and the observer of the action is the whole game you solve this experientially without a doubt if you can see this with clarity who is the doer does the doer really exists or is it merely the observer experiencing a sensation of doing let us take the experience of sleeping i had a good sleep i had a disturbing sleep i had a peaceful sleep you are still describing it as an action but what action are you performing can sleeping be regarded as action here is the most important question are you necessary in the process of sleeping doer comes into the picture only when we want to describe something in actuality doer is a pure illusion he doesn't even exist there is no need for him to exist once a pattern is set once the conditioning has happened the habits have solidified they do things on their own do you open and close your eyelids you do it throughout your life but are you doing it is that an action is a doer even necessary for that action if you start peeling layer after layer of our conceptual theoretical explanation of things what is left breathing digestion desire to reproduce all the processes that help you to take care of the body hunger thirst how much of this is doing and how much of it is happening if you can say i am sleeping when you have nothing to do with sleeping you are gone you and sleeping are two completely different things when you are there there is no sleep when there is sleep you are gone when you are there you don't call it sleep you call it a wakeful state so to say i am sleeping is a total contradiction it does not mean anything in the same way to say i am walking also doesn't mean anything i am eating i am sleeping because you are asleep the word wakefulness to be awake is just another way of saying i am asleep in human language wakefulness is not a state of glowing awareness 
full consciousness, being rooted in the self. For us, wakefulness is to be in the world of dreams. When we wake up in the morning, we wake up to our dream. The dream that we have become most familiar with. Every moment throughout your life, while you're awake, while you're asleep, you're dreaming. But one part of that dream, you turn on the lights to see what you're dreaming about. That part is what you recognize as your life. Otherwise, what's happening in your dream is also your life, sometimes even more so. So many things are happening there. Reconciliation is happening. While you can only recollect a small part of your dream, in your dream, your behavior is intact. Your fears are intact. Your desires are intact. Your dream is not totally different from your waking consciousness. The single biggest difference is the waking consciousness seems to totally slow down to a point where you can touch the dream. In the dream, it's just fleeting. In the wakeful consciousness, you can interact with the dream. You can remember it. You can write down. If you were to make a note of everything you're doing every day, at the end of your life, it is simply a record of your dreams. But while you're experiencing it, there is a part of you that recognizes it as something different from the dream. But otherwise, it's the exact same process continuing, which means there is no wakeful state. It is the same sleep state continuing with a little more awareness, little more involvement. That little more is what creates the illusion of the doer. Because there is a small shift in consciousness, there's a small shift in how you are perceiving the dream without knowing what that shift is, it is attributed to the self. It is attributed to the one who's waking up, the one who is doing something in the dream. Well, if you are a part of the dream, if your body is a part of the dream, naturally your mind is part of the dream, you know very well that there is no doer in the dream. That is why it is called a dream. There is a dreamer, but nobody is making the dream happen. You cannot choose things in your dream. You cannot arrange or rearrange. Whatever happens, you can only witness it. If you learn the art of witnessing, watching your dreams more and more, then you can watch everything that is happening throughout the night. This is why when Buddha was asked, how is it that you don't shift and turn and toss while you are sleeping? He said, well, I'm aware of my sleep. While you are lost in the dream, I am witnessing my dream. Not as an individual sitting and watching the dream. There is no individual watcher. There is no separate entity called the mind and body sitting and watching the dream. The realm itself is alive and conscious to what's happening. He's blissfully asleep. He's not interfering with his dreams. But he's fully aware. He's aware of his body. 
he's aware of the dreaming process. Now, this is an impossible state to grasp intellectually. Because for the intellect, there is nothing other than the dream. To know what the dream is, it has to step into this flowing stream. And the moment it steps into it, it is swept away. It cannot understand the concept of being lost in the dream and at the same time separate from it to be able to observe it. It's like you are being swept away because otherwise dream cannot happen. But somehow there is a part of you that is always there on the shore. Another way of understanding this is for the first time you know that the shore exists for normal ordinary consciousness only the stream exists and you being a part of that stream is real your life is real your body is real what you're experiencing as the world is real but you know nothing about stillness you know nothing about the banks of this stream that is never the stream it's the stream that is always changing the banks are exactly the same a buddha is someone who has slowly moved towards the shore realized that stillness is real consciousness is real to a point where even when he's lost in the stream because the shore is always there he can always watch his dreams there is no need for something limited to exist in the dream the reason why it is so hard for the human mind to grasp this concept Oh, I can actually watch my dreams. I can be asleep, but I can also watch the sleep. It is impossible for the mind to grasp this because it does not understand anything in totality. For the mind, this observer is so limited. The observer has to run along with the dream to watch it. But what it does not understand is this observer is everywhere. He does not have to run. Consciousness is there everywhere at all times. The shore is there always. If you know there is a stream, you can be absolutely certain that there is a shore to it. Whether you're experiencing it or not, that's a different matter. But the shore exists. That is why there is a stream there. What if this shore itself is consciousness? Then wherever the stream flows, that part of consciousness is available to watch it. So wherever you are in your dream, whatever you're doing, Consciousness is always there, just around the corner, watching it. Even now, while you are asleep, there is a part of you that is watching your dream. The only difference is, you have no relationship with this part. You don't have any memory about this part. You wake up in the morning, you recollect only the dreams. There is no way for you to recollect this conscious part of you because your waking up is actually falling asleep. If you are actually waking up, then you can remember everything. Oh, I was awake. I was conscious. In fact, you are. Every night, there comes a moment in your sleep, a deepest moment, when you are fully awakened, fully enlightened, all that you're searching for in your waking consciousness, you have already become that. 
naturally existence has put you to that place because that is the source you cannot move too far away from there your whole life revolves around it a little bit of activity and then finally going into deep sleep where you're not doing the sleep you have nothing to do with sleep it is just happening where all your thoughts dreams your desires everything is brought back to the source and annihilated there comes a moment a single moment when you are nothing 